they've gone clear of the run run as they race well inside the last furlong and a half and it's landsman caroline martha way out clear ribard is second long long break to sir run run up to the finish landsman caroline martha six lengths too good for ribard long long break to sir run run they've gone clear of sir run run as they race well inside the last furlong and a half and it's landsman caroline martha way out clear ribard is second long long break to sir run run up to the finish landsman caroline martha six lengths too good for ribard long long break to sir run run They're being followed by Aspar Joanna and Midst in the center, beginning the run to the final furlong now. Intense Stylist in the center, fit for function on the near side. They're followed by Aspar and Midst on the outside as they race up now towards the final 200 yards. Fit for function, Aspar going for the gap between them on the inside. Intense Stylist, Joanna putting in a late bid, but Aspar is going to win it. Aspar wins close second, Joanna fit for function. Intense Stylist and Piccavani. They're being followed by Aspar, Joanna, and Midst in the center, beginning the run to the final furlong now. Intense Stylist in the center, fit for function on the near side. They're followed by Aspar and Midst on the outside as they race up now towards the final 200 yards. Fit for function, Aspar going for the gap between them on the inside. Intense Stylist, Joanna putting in a late bid, but Aspar is going to win it. Aspar wins close second, Joanna fit for function. Intense Stylist and Piccavani. with Texas Dancer towards the inside. Giselle's Charm and Glenham I Lad on the near side. These are being followed then by Zia later in third place. They begin the run now towards the final 200 yards. Giselle's Charm, the leader from Glenham I Lad as they race uphill towards the finish. It's Giselle's Charm and Pat Smullen stretching on two and a half lengths in front up towards the finish. Giselle's Charm wins by three going away. Second place goes to Glenham I Lad and they're being followed in by Texas Dancer running on on the inside with Texas Dancer towards the inside. Giselle's Charm and Glenham I Lad on the near side. These are being followed then by Zia later in third place. They begin the run now towards the final 200 yards. Giselle's Charm, the leader from Glenham I Lad as they race uphill towards the finish. It's Giselle's Charm and Pat Smullen stretching on two and a half lengths in front up towards the finish. Giselle's Charm wins by three going away. Second place goes to Glenham I Lad and they're being followed in by Texas Dancer running on on the inside. As they race on now past the two and your pal Tal and lights them in the center on the near side, Cat will do, producing a run. Wide of them is Calm Bay and then Sass away. Racing inside the final 200 and Calm Bay over towards the near side. Cat will do, lights them in your pal Tal. Sass away coming home between horses and Mr. Bounty. But it's Calm Bay on the near side who's just the leader with Sass away putting in a late bid over on the far side. Calm Bay and Chris Hayes from Sass away. Mr. Bounty might have snatched the third from your pal Tal and on their outside came three bells as they race on now past the two and your pal Tal and lights them in the center on the near side Cat will do producing a run wide of them is Calm Bay and then Sass away racing inside the final 200 and Calm Bay over towards the near side Cat will do lights them in your pal Tal Sass away coming home between horses and Mr. Bounty but it's Calm Bay on the near side who's just the leader with Sass away putting in a late bid over on the far side Calm Bay and Chris Hayes from Sass away Mr. Bounty might have snatched the third from your pal Tal and on their outside came three bells. The sheepskin noseband of Tempo Mac looming large black label is running on one from the rail and this quartet few lengths cleared of baby Jake and then Byron Beauty Tempo Mac with black label beginning to rally now over on the far side and inside the last 200 yards it is on the rail still battling away strongly black label from Tempo Mac on the near side inside the last 100 yards and black label and Declan McDonough going to see off Tempo Mac by half a length three and a half lengths to Byron Beauty baby Jake Pat Harkin followed in by Jazz Ranger.
The sheepskin nose band of Tempo Mac looming large black label is running on one from the rail and this quartet few lengths cleared of baby Jake and then Byron Beauty Tempo Mac with black label beginning to rally now over on the far side and inside the last 200 yards it is on the rail still battling away strongly black label from Tempo Mac on the near side inside the last 100 yards and black label and Declan McDonough going to see off Tempo Mac by half a length three and a half lengths to Byron Beauty Baby Jake Pat Harkin followed in by Jazz Ranger. New Cross is just behind them and they're being followed by Coffey. Seville Star and on the near side, Hall Pass having a good battle, a couple of lengths cleared of Bromance. Coffey stays on the outside. Seville Star on the far side from Hall Pass. Coffey putting in a big late effort on the outside and also coming as Secret Wizard but running up towards the finish. It's Seville Star with Coffey lunging late on the near side. And in third place came Hall Pass, four Secret Wizard and five is Bromance. New Cross is just behind them and they're being followed by Coffey. Seville Star and on the near side, Hall Pass having a good battle, a couple of lengths cleared of Bromance. Coffey stays on the outside. Seville Star on the far side from Hall Pass. Coffey putting in a big late effort on the outside and also coming as Secret Wizard but running up towards the finish. It's Seville Star with Coffey lunging late on the near side. And in third place came Hall Pass, four Secret Wizard and five is Bromance. Running past the two now, Markan in the centre on the near side, both Marshall Jennings and Elusive Heights. Rummaging is on the inside, beginning the run now to the final furlong. Markan on the far side from Elusive Heights, challenging on the stand side. Marshall Jennings in between them, racing inside the last 150 now. Markan, Elusive Heights on the stand side. Club Wexford putting in a late bid, but Elusive Heights and Colin Keane will win. A very tightly packed finish, Club Wexford, Marshall Jennings, both Satchel all close in behind. Running past the two now, Markan in the centre on the near side, both Marshall Jennings and Elusive Heights. Rummaging is on the inside, beginning the run now to the final furlong. Markan on the far side from Elusive Heights, challenging on the stand side. Marshall Jennings in between them, racing inside the last 150 now. Markan, Elusive Heights on the stand side. Club Wexford putting in a late bid, but Elusive Heights and Colin Keane will win. A very tightly packed finish, Club Wexford, Marshall Jennings, both satchel all close in behind. <laughs>